Yo, 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 what's going on, y'all? Alex Jenkins checking in, man. Um, doing an update on GameStop. Um, yeah, so right now, uh, the market still running sideways. It kind of came down to that level. I don't know where the 50% was at, at that one and the three level. So we have a we have a, a, a level of resistance right here. It's holding strong. As you can see, right, I told you this gap was at. The level of resistance is holding strong here. At uh, I was at 198.89. So right now, the short sellers, the institutional short sellers, they really, they really been trying like hell to push this market down. They continue to short this market, which means they're selling this market. And that's what they've been trying to do for the, for you know, that's been a battle between the institutional trader and the retail trader. So this battle is still going on right now between the uh, big guys and the little guy. And that, 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 you know, they're swinging, they're swinging. The little guys are trying to swing the little money they got, and the big guys just putting, just trying to pile on and push this market down. So right now, the, the bears are in the show. The sellers, the sellers has been, you know, controlling it as as of right now, for so since last Monday, since last Monday and Tuesday, since it made that three hit that three forty eight fifty. So it's been pushing down, and right now it's at a a point where you know we're trying to see whether uh the bears and the bulls who's who's going to win this battle if this market will continue to push down and break this trend line. Will trend line break, or is this market going to touch this trend line down to 184.68? It's where my uh, cursor is, and push it back up. Right now, it's holding strong. Right now, I'm I'm not sure if uh, Friday what Friday's outcome may be, but we do know a level of support is at 172.35, so it may push down through that level, and maybe go to the next level at 156.94. Just to break through and uh, really challenge the, uh, the the all the guys that's you know the most retail traders, tail traders uh, have been bullish on GameStop. Just they just because just because they love GameStop and they use GameStop. Those are those people that that have money invested not only just using the product, but they have money invested on the investment side now. So you know they don't want it to go because it's a place they love to go at. You know. So gamers, gamers like to go to places where, you know, where they where they want to be at, and where they feel welcome at, where they feel comfortable at. And they don't want that leave, so they're fighting for it right now. So this is a bear and bull fight that's going on right now, and we're just looking at the chart, and this chart is going to allow us to look at this fight, and she's going to win this battle. So, but we, but right now we're looking at price action to, to determine how we're going to make some money on this fight that's going on right now. Right now it wanna to continue to stay bullish, but you know, we know that you know it made that high and haven't seen that high yet. Let's see if this uh let's see what the next few weeks entail because you know there is we we're working on we're working to the right side of this chart. We wanna know where this thing is gonna go at and what it's going you know, if it's gonna to continue to try to uh break this high or break the new low or try to go make another new low. And we know the the previous the real low was at two dollars and fifty seven cent. They're really trying to put run this company out of business, and I don't think that's going to happen. So you guys got to pay attention to the fundamental side of this thing and see what they, what GameStop has been doing uh, to 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 move their company forward in today's economy. So you know a lot of things are going on, guys. So you just got to pay attention to these things, but. As far as the market analysis go, we come to those levels. We will see if they just go reach those levels and make a bounce. Something's going to happen within the next few days, or the next week or two, and we'll see what the uh, outcome is going to be and whether it's going to push this market up to the upside, which has been trending up. But as the current has been moving down in the pullback, so we'll see if this thing continue to pull back and try to tr start trending more to the downside. Let's see if this, uh, the institutional investors get what they want or retail traders and GameStop get what they want. So we'll see. This battle is going to be very interesting, guys. Uh, I'm going to do an update in a few weeks and see what's going on with this thing. And 
we all see this thing together. So uh, Alice Jenkins checking out.